So, the fears now on the street is that petrol prices may go up. That's the consideration. Sometime last week, we spoke to the executive secretary of Moment, that's the major oil marketers operator of Nigeria, by the acronym MOMEN. And Mr. Lawar is now live to us uh, via telephone from Abuja, the country's political capital, this morning to uh, uh, talk to us on this. Mr. Lawar, good morning. Thanks for coming through. Good morning, uh, Boston. How are you doing? Well, we're good. Uh, we are looking at the sunny side of things, but is this fear real? Yes or no? Come back, please. The fears that petrol prices will go higher, perhaps to 157. Yes or no? Uh, it's not. It's unfounded. Uh, people should not fear. It's not going to go up. Uh, I've been at meetings with PVPR. There's nothing like that on the table. Uh, and as, I, as we speak, I'm with uh, NMPC and nothing like that. Uh, like I usually say, um, anytime anything is going to go up, I have a fair idea of it. So I don't think, uh, I don't think it's, a, it's a founded uh, rumor. Okay, now, now give us... 160 million Nigerians, some more comfort uh, to that, this conversation about what the discussion is within the NNPC, which is in charge of the entire petroleum industry in Nigeria, about allaying this phase of the scarcity of foreign exchange, the new Naira dollar relationship expanding on a daily basis, bouncing around like a spring. Yes, the issue is uh, we, are, we are giving more... Uh, uh, assistance from uh, NMPC. Mr. Lawara, please go ahead. On uh, with uh, NMPC's assistance. Uh, so, then uh, that's it. From the point we have to the point. I, I, but we will prefer, we will prefer this if we had had the power to do all this ourselves, so that it's not uh, government driven; it should be private sector driven. But as it is, uh, government is really assisting. Thank you. Uh, what form of assistance are you are you getting? Uh, and again, do you think we have enough supplies to make everybody go calm without panic buying? Yes, for now. It's, uh, uh, and when I say enough supply, first I look at what we have in our stock. Uh, uh, we have in stock in our own installations, uh, which is okay. Uh, and in their own uh, in their own installations, also we have uh, we, ha we have we have uh, appreciable stocks, and uh, also on the seas. So I, we have we have uh, we have uh, stock. Uh in terms of the independent marketers, uh, right now it looks like, yes, the NNPC and Mormon, those of you who are the oil majors, the big boys, are on the same page. Are the independent marketers on the same page with you? Uh, we don't have a common forum as such unless uh, NNPC brings us together. But uh, the truth is that um, major marketers, we have... Uh, Mr. Lowry, uh, thank you very much for uh, your time. It looks like uh, the um, uh, connection there is a little bit uh, 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 crappy uh, there where you are and looks like it's a network problem there over that uh, uh, conversation. But we uh, try to recap what you've told us. Uh, Abafemi Olawari, who is the executive secretary of uh, the Major Oil Marketers Association of Nigeria by moment, and he's saying there that meetings have been ongoing between the state oil corporation known as the NNPC and the, his own body representing all the major marketers doing business in Nigeria, and there's no reason to be scared that petrol prices will go up anytime soon. There are concerns, as you may have heard in the news on social media, in the print media everywhere that petrol prices may go 
as high as 157 naira to a liter because of uh, FX scarcity. That has since been allayed. The NNPC and Mumun are now said to be on the same page. As I've heard from Mr. Bafemi there, uh, Olawari there, he says they don't, there's a single forum for both the independent uh, marketers on the, the Ipman and the majors to meet together to have this discussion. And that is where the fears are coming through right now. The independent marketers own the largest number of retail outlets in Nigeria, thousands and thousands of them across the country. So this is where some of these concerns and fears are coming from. You can buy petrol at all the majors, only you have to patronize those who are the independent marketers. So the key question is, how do you source scarcity or scarce effects to bring in petrol, and at what price will you be doing that at the pumps? That, those are the considerations of the story we have now before us, and we'll try to flesh this up as we move ahead.